Hey, what's up guys, your boy Demi here and today we're talking about how history tends to affect stories actually about how certain stories tend to create, so well, certain stories from history tend to create decent stories some fictional, some non-fictional but it depends, some, even the non-fictional has some fiction thrown in there to keep it interesting but this one is more since it's been done so many times it's more like a remake but then still doesn't have the same story since it's been changed up so many different times. So technically it's about a real person but in more fiction form. So right now we're talking about King Arthur, the guy who defended Britain or I, forgot, I think it was Britain against the Saxons way way back. But I think since the, you, you've heard the multiple stories about King Arthur, the whole entire story from Stone thing. For, yeah, you, you probably heard it. But this one is a whole new story based around his newest one, Legend of the Sword. Well, this version of the story follows young King Arthur, or young Arthur, after his parents or family was killed by another family member, I believe specifically his uncle, in lust for power. Now, the thing about his uncle is that his uncle disliked the enemy or supposedly enemy that King Uther, Arthur's father, had fought in the wars which was basically mages, so people who had the capability of using magic. Hmm. Interestingly enough, the only way for Uther to do so though is for Uther to obtain a special sword or a rare or magical sword given to him by Merlin himself after Merlin didn't like how things were going in the mage capital or wherever it was and created this sword specifically for Uther's bloodline. So basically any of Uther's children would be able to wield this sword. He felt it. Now after the brother, I keep forgetting his name because it has already been released, so I have already watched it, but I want, I want to avoid giving too much detail for anyone who hasn't actually watched it already. But as far as I remember, it was a situation where after he was orphaned, after he was orphaned, it was like, okay, look, I should probably put disclaimer spoilers in this, because, okay, disclaimer spoilers, because I don't want the, the situation to be like, oh, he was like, uh, um, he told like some important parts of the story kind of thing. No, I'm not trying to do that. And I'm, I'm gonna say if you don't want any spoilers and you wanna watch it yourself, go right ahead. So feel free to end the video. But I'm not going to say like a ton of things that are necessary. I'm just gonna literally just talking around it, more like around the actual story itself. So after being orphaned and parents being killed or whatever the case is. Um, the sword is lost and he is left to be raised in a brothel and who better to raise the kids than a bunch of women who don't really know how to raise kids because they don't really have any of their own just saying it seems like a good idea but at least he grew up with some street smarts lucky him that's actually a plus actually no so here's the thing the brother now has rule over the kingdom that's nice and all but he still doesn't have the sword. Well, he can't because the sword technically can't belong to him. So he look he's looking for the child, which is clearly Arthur. So obviously this goes into a bit more deeply and you know, Arthur pulls the sword from the stone, which is like the usual stories of King Arthur. And he has a choice, either fight or flee. And personally, we already know how things work out. Being as cunning as he is, he doesn't need power. He said he clearly doesn't want power, because if he did, he he probably, after pulling the sword from stone, that he realized that he's royalty, he probably would try to take it. But no, 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 it's probably not even that necessary. But he would probably choose to fight. Me, on the other hand, I can't fight. Me, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be way out. I'd be, I'd be out. I'd be out of 5,000. I was like, I probably couldn't take the sword with me anyway, I'd probably just vanish. 
Alright, you take the sword with me, that's a plus. Yes, that's nice and all. He still has rule over the kingdom. And people will be pissed. Will probably at me. At him, but mostly at me for not sticking around to help. So, so I might decide to fight, I might die. Let's just say, I, let's just say I will die instantaneously. I'll rush upon the guy and be like, yeah! just get shot by a bunch of arrows because I'm some idiot who decides to rush in first without thinking. Yeah, yeah, logic. It's, it's complete logic. I have no sort of skills when it comes to tactics. But hey, all of that side. It's a good movie and you should give it a watch. Again, if you did, if I did spoil anything for you, I apologize about that. But I did say spoilers. I did give that disclaimer. It, it's in there. It's in. I made sure to say it. But it is a good movie. It's not like the best version of King Arthur because I've seen some series that were amazing from for King Arthur. I think the one that most resonated with me was like Merlin. No, that was actually pretty good. I, you you should actually give that one a watch as well. But as but as a movie, it it passes. It passes enough for me. So feel free to give it a watch. Also, don't forget to if you and if you did watch it, if you did watch it, don't forget to comment below, let me know what you thought of the movie and if and my analysis or if it was like too much what I said. But again, disclaimer, disclaimer, all of the above, saying that it is clearly um oh dear lord, it is clearly spoilers. I, I said it. I said it exists inside this thing. So, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as don't forget to subscribe. I make these every Wednesday and Saturday. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon as well as follow me on Facebook and our Twitter. Links are in the description below. So, see you in the next one, guys. Bye. The man who pulled sword from stone. Behold, your born king.